welcome sa ating week 3 ng bread and pastry production. The most essential learning competencies for this topic is to perform mensuration and calculation. And for our week 3 learning objectives, familiarize oneself with the table of weights and measures in baking. Okay, so what is mensuration? So mensuration is defined as skill of measuring the length of lines, areas of surfaces, and volumes of solids from simple data of lines and angles. It is also defined as act of measuring. Mensuration and calculation in bread and pastry is very important. Why? Because it helps us to accurately measure the ingredients used in bread and pastry production. And we can convert unit of measures based on the needed quantities of ingredients. Okay, so let's go to abbreviation of units. So in mensuration, we have different abbreviation of units of measure. For example, C is for cup, TSP is for teaspoon, TBSP for tablespoon, OZ for ounce, LB for pounds, PT for pint, QT for quart, GAL for gallons, G for grams, KG for kilograms, L for liter, and ML for milliliter. So these are some of the examples of abbreviation of units under unit of measure. Next, let's go on to the standard table of weights and measure. So here are the example. One tablespoon is equal to three teaspoon. Two tablespoon is equal to one eight cup. Four tablespoon is equal to one four cup, and so on. So itong standard table of weights and measure ay makikita nyo rin doon sa sinib na module and other references sa inyong OTG module. We also have the common units of weights. And here are the examples. One pound is equal to 463.59 grams. One ounce is equal to 28.35 grams. One kilogram is equal to 2.21 pounds, and so on. Common units of volume. Okay, so kung maaalala nyo yung inyong science lessons, ang volume ay amount of space occupied by an object. And here are the examples of common units of volume. So, one bushel is equal to four pecks. One peck is equal to eight quarts. One gallon is equal to four quarts. One quart is equal to two pints. Or, is equal to 964.4 milliliters. One teaspoon is equal to 4.9 milliliters. And one tablespoon is equal to one half fluid ounce or 14.8 milliliters. Okay, so for our references, we will still use the BPP module, pages 10 to 11. So as I've said, it is already saved sa inyong OTG. Now let's go to our week 3 learning task. Learning task number one, the direction is identify the abbreviation of the weights and measure. So for example, number one, tablespoon, 
correct. So, the abbreviation of tablespoon is TBSP. Next, learning task number two. Direction, convert the following units. Let's try to answer number one. Three cups is equal to tablespoon. And the answer is 48 tablespoon. How? So here is the sample computation. So if, if we are going to read the problem statement, it is how many tablespoons are there in three cups? So before answering the mathematical equation, we need to look at the table of the standard table of weights and measure na po pwede nating magamit sa ating pagko-compute. So here, we will use the 16 tablespoon is equal to 1 cup. So let's compute. 3 times 16 is equal to 48. Therefore, our answer is for 3 cups is equal to 48 tablespoon. Learning task number 3. So here is the direction. Read and understand the statement and question carefully. Write the correct answer. So assuming na sa inyong family ay gagawa kayo ng homemade loaves of buttermilk, buttermilk bread. So, to make the 10 loaves of buttermilk bread, the following ingredients are needed. We need 6 pounds bread flour, 2 ounces salt, 4 ounces sugar, 4 ounces shortening, 6 ounces buttermilk powder, 2 liters of water, and 4 ounces of fresh yeast. So here is the problem statement number one. How many kilograms of flour are needed for 15 loaves? So the given quantities are 6 pounds of flour is equal to 10 loaves. So if we are going to convert the problem statement into mathematical equation, it will become 15 loaves is equal to blank kilogram of flour. So let's try to compute. Step 1, how many kilograms are there in pounds? So based on our standard table of weights and measure, 1 kilogram is equal to 2.21 pounds. Step number 2, so let's convert the 6 pounds of flour into kilogram. So, 6 pounds is equal to blank kilogram. Then, we will use the 1 kilogram equals 2.21 pounds standard table of weights as our reference. To compute, we will use the cross multiplication technique. Whereas, 6 pounds times kilogram over 2.21 pounds. Then, we will cancel the same units para ang matira na lang ay yung kailangan nating units like the kilogram. Therefore, 6 divided by 2.21 is equal to 2.71. Alright, so since sa ating problem statement, we needed blank kilograms per 15 loaves, and we already have the given quantity, which is 2.71 kg of flour is equal to 10 loaves. The simplest analysis in this problem is kulang na lang tayo ng 5 loaves to make it 15. So, step 3, we have to divide 2.71 kg of flour into 2 and of course the 10 loaves into 2. So the answer is, for 2.71 kilograms of flour is equal to 1.36 and 10 loaves of bread divided by 2 
is equal to 5. Therefore, for every 1.36 kilograms of flour, pwede na tayo makagawa ng 5 loaves of bread. Alright, so going back to our original problem statement, which is how many kilograms of flour are needed for 15 loaves and kilogram, and our latest given quantities are 1.36 kilograms of flour is equal to 5 loaves of bread. So the solution are 1.36 times 3 is equal to 4.08 equal to 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Therefore, 4.08 kilograms of flour is equal to 15 loaves of bread. Alright class, so sana meron kayong natutunan sa ating video lesson and naging malinaw sa inyo ang mga instruction na gagamitin natin sa uh, pagsasagot ng ating learning test. So don't worry kung meron kayong mga other ways kung paano or mas mabilis nyong masasagutan yung ating mga learning task ay pwedeng inyon ang inyong gamitin yung mga easiest and quickest way ng pagko-compute as long as natama and accurate ang ating magiging sagot. You may as assistant sa inyong mga eldest sister or elder brother or even at your parents kung sila ay hindi busy uh, para mas lalo kayong madalian sa pagsasagot ng ating mga learning tasks, you as assistance from them. You may also use calculator in computing the learning task. Um, kung hindi available ang computer, ang calculator, pwede rin kayong gumamit ng calculator app sa inyong mga cellphone. So, at this time of pandemic, kailangan nating i-utilize o uh, i-maximize ang paggamit ng mga available resources sa ating bahay. So, alright. So, sana ay nakatulong sa inyo itong ating video lessons. So, don't forget to like or click heart and write your positive comments on our YouTube videos and in our FB page post. So, kailangan namin yan para ma-monitor din namin kung sino na yung nakakapagsin at kung sino na yung nakapanood ng aming videos. Napaka-importante nun sa amin para uh, monitor namin and ma- makakukuha namin yung attention yung mga hindi pa nakakasin. So, thank you and may God bless you all.